Okay, this is the reading for Libra for the month of March. I've got a lot of decks here I'm using. Um, the Chakra Wisdom deck. Got a new uh, Divine Tarot deck. The Wisdom House of Night. Uh, Dreams of Gaia. And the Planetary deck. And also a TLC for the Soul. Okay, I'm just going to get on with it. <laughs> uh, Libra. Your first card in the first row here from the Gaia deck is eight, death and rebirth. So there's a sense here of something ending and a, a transition uh, period here. We may have had something end and are now uh, birthing new energy here. Sense they're giving me is yeah that's not just a peek into this is the birthing of new new energy and moving forward so I'll leave it at that the next card we have is the five of Earth and this is kind of akin to the devil card here we have <laughs> someone that may be playing games we may have had someone play games with us here is the direct link I'm getting. And a sense they're giving me is that the Libra is in the background, the one that was hurt. And um, for whatever reason, this person that was playing with us, they really, um, they tended to get what they wanted from us. But we didn't get what we wanted from them, is the sense they're giving me. And this is maybe the energy of what needs to rebirth, you know the sense that we're going to have imbalanced relationships from here forward no matter i say relationships but i mean any interaction with someone here that is not balanced i feel like that is the end and we're birthing a new energy field of of no longer allowing that as we go forward so the third row here we got wow the nine of water <laughs> So this is good because this is kind of like she's got her head tilted up to the universal energies and her heart is being uh, just beginning to open. Her third eye is open. So there might have been a sense here that we knew this person was was using us, uh, maybe couldn't believe it or uh, stayed in it too long is really the sense they're giving me. We did stay here too long. Knew uh, intuitively what was going on yet yeah uh, there might have been some denial here we may have thought that we were going to get what we wanted out of this situation but it just never came to be so again here the nine of water really speaking to looking to a higher power here for guidance and not only that, for help with our heart, because our heart is really feeling really small at this time. Though we know we need to grow in that area. Okay. Next row, on top of death and rebirth, clarification card uh, from the Wisdom of Night, is 47. And that speaks to individuality. <sighs> the birds are chirping. <laughs> the sense here is is we never spoke from our individual needs to this person is the sense they're giving me. And we needed to do this in order to gain or to see more clearly really when we needed to leave the situation. But the situation collapsed nonetheless. Um, yeah, because they're going like this kind of a reddy orange bird there. It's like a action oriented we're going to take action and speak from what we've like we did not speak in the past to this person here this devil person that was taking from us we did not speak up for ourselves is the sense they're giving me in the individuality card this is the energy that is going to renew itself oh we as we go forward here we are going to speak up and this person is going to know right off the bat here. That's the sense they're giving me. Okay, on top of the devil card here. We have the six, the high priestess of air again. I shuffle these. <laughs> you have no idea. Repeat cards. But anyway. High priestess of air. She talks about logic here. 
when we we break it down to log logistics, it's just it makes sense. I wasn't getting you know all of it, uh, but again, hanging on to it in hopes that it might turn over, in hopes that they might realize without our input, and in, in hopes that uh, things would change. It just never. And you know, if you look at this devil card again. The devil is in full bloom color and the Virgo or the ER, sorry, the Libra energy is in kind of like a drab blue. So the sense here is, is it's kind of like an energy drain, right? That devil has taken all the energy. They can no longer be colorful. They can no longer. So that was really what they wanted to do. And they got, you know, they got that from us. So you know, there's a point of healing now. The High Priestess of Air, like, again, looking at the logistics here, it all makes sense. So there should be no area here where we have question marks is what they're saying. Because logistically, they want to take all, ener all our energy. They did that. And now they're gone. And that makes sense. So um, it's kind of like a, how do you say that? A drop down to earth here. <laughs> we have to get, uh, get real with things. Like, it's a heavy dropping of the energy is, is what I'm getting. It's like, oh, we had to get real with this situation. We couldn't put our heads up in clouds and expect things to change, especially one when we're not speaking from it. So the High Priestess of Air speaks to that. They speak to the logic of it. Um, logically, this all made sense in the way that it was going to end or it was going to create problems or it needed to be uh, dealt with in a certain way. Again, without any help from us. So on top of this, uh, nine of cups here, or nine of water, which is speaking to connecting with that energy. And also our heart, um, even though it's emphasized here, I feel like our heart is shrunk through the process of what this person brought us through. I feel like our heart was way bigger when they come in, but they just sucked it dry. <laughs> and then now we got none for nobody else. The clarification on top of that, we have 44 talking about playful. Um, and whenever I get this card, I feel like they're saying, you know, we need to lighten up a bit here. They did what they did, you know, now they can't do it again. Why? Because now we know we need to speak up for ourselves, one. And two, we just n will not allow this in any way, shape, or form to happen again. And... Um, you are connected and, and protected by energy. So you really do need, and again, protected by energies. They're not going to prevent you from learning a lesson because we needed to learn a lesson here to speak up for ourselves. And that's what we got. We got stomped on until we learned our lesson because it took that much energy <laughs> to get us to realize that it was important where we didn't before. So the playful cat, playing with the moon here it is really um kind of the energy the universe wants you to kind of bring your energy back up how do you do that become more playful go outward to those that are i mean uh, whether this person I, I i get a sense there may be some here that might be still connected to this energy and they're going to have to learn to put a boundary down and some where we remove this energy and we don't have to deal with it no more. Uh, or we're going to have to do that at some point here. Because I feel like uh, the Libra is needing to put a foot down to not be taken advantage of in that way. Speaking up is really what I get. Speaking up for what we feel toward people that are taking advantage of that. Okay, so the third row here. On top of the death and rebirth, the individuality, which I, I feel springs more through this card in this reading, springs more to talking and laying boundary, like to no more. We have the four of wands, which is, woo, that's interesting. So that's where I was picking up for some people. This may be someone that's connected. It may be a partner. Because Four of Wands is about, um, you know, celebration, uniting with um, people in the... <sighs> There's a homey sense, meaning we may room with these people. These people may be under our roof, uh, same roof that we have. Four of Wands, yeah, it's connecting and being happy and grounded and stable. <sighs> hmm... 
Well, we'll carry on. I I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, somewhere here there's someone we can rely on. And hopefully it's not that person that did all that to us. <laughs> so as we go to clarify the devil here in the High Priestess of Air, we get the tower. Yeah, it seems like nah, for some people it might be. Give me a moment to work this out. For some people in a romantic relationship, I do not feel this is a partner. Meaning married, a solid, stable commitment. I do not feel this is a partner. I feel like this is someone outside of that. For people who are lightly dating or single and um, newly single, this is a scenario where we, we, um, we put our foot down towards someone here. Or needing to or about to or this is in the air. To the degree it creates a tower because the tower is sitting here. Yeah, and I feel like the tower is on you. I feel like the tower is coming down on Libra. Why? Because one, we didn't communicate to this partner the boundaries that we needed. We were, again, holding back energy there. Um, so much so that it hurt us. We weren't thinking really from our logic. Because <laughs> they're going, if we look at this logically, what are we getting here? We're not getting anything. That's been the case all along. So what? what's the deal? Why are we even paying attention this is not right um so logic would have told you in flying colors kind of thing and then on top of that is the tower why well the universe is gonna clue you in because you aren't cluing in and it's not to your highest good to continue down this road with this devil feeding off you because they will take you down like they have and they will continue to do so if you let them and this, for some people, this may be still attached. This energy may be still attached to you in some way. Even though we know the betterment here. No, it's not working. It's not whatever. It's still attached somehow. Okay. So, on the Nine of Cups and the playful energy from 44 from the Wisdom deck, we get the Two of Coins. Yeah, that's about balancing things. Someone here may be trying to keep this. Uh, believe it or not. Or trying to juggle this amongst other things. Trying to juggle it as they move forward is the sense they're giving me. We're trying to keep it. We don't want to. We don't want to put our foot down and, and lock it out. We're trying to keep it and juggle as we go forward. And uh, the playful energy now is mutating into a. Eh, don't matter. It's you know whatever. Like kind of a, a passiveness. But yet still looking to the universal energies for help here with this. There's a tower that's fallen and there may be another one coming. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to the last line here of cards. On the death, individuality, four of wands. Somewhere here there's a stability to come from. For I think the more married, stable partners. There's something about a stability here. I sure as hell hope it's not that the devil... It's not through the devil, because <laughs> that's going to be a bumpy road. But anyway, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Four of Swords. It's about needing rest and relaxation away from things. Yeah, uh, we may be taking a rest from this. If we're lightly dating or whatnot, we may be taking a rest. We may have thought that this person was someone that was, yeah, that's more the energy. We may have thought that this person that was we were dealing with was someone that we could end up marrying or someone we could find stability with. But we're now needing to break from it because, you know, the stability just may not be there. Now, on top of the devil card, the high priestess of air again, the tower, and then we have the four coins to clarify. Four coins is about... Um, being miserly about keeping things to ourselves and I feel like that's the devil energy somebody here has been keeping their emotions their um, whatever like a, four coins is literally about um, hoarding money or keeping money to ourselves not sharing outward and I feel like um, the devil energy is very much in that way like uh, you give to me but I, I, I'm not going to give to you so don't even ask that kind of thing 
and the tower is coming down, come down, whatever, to clarify, to make that be seen more. We got someone here is greedy with their emotions or with their time or with their energy, with anything. They're not offering. They've taken all your cards and they're ready to walk is the sense that I'm getting now. Last row about connecting to the universal energies. Um... The sense of playfulness here, I feel, is is almost like the Libra trying to trick themselves into saying, ah, it don't matter as much as it truly does. And that two of coins about balancing, trying to juggle everything instead of, you know, dropping one and, you know, prioritizing. On top of that, we get the hangman. So we got a lot of stagnant energy here. And a lot of energy that doesn't want to be shared. Um... We may even have a sense of not communicating. There's a need to communicate. We're not communicating. There's a need to share. We're not sharing. Uh, I don't know which side that's on. It could be both sides here. <laughs> we may have like a, a stalemate between people. Now, it's interesting to me, this hangman here is almost like um, in the, uh, I was going to say the rainbow deck. But <laughs> in the chakra deck is really about this woman hanging upside down by her feet and she don't look too like she's okay with it it almost seems like a a cocoon that she's in right to change her perspective and she'll come out in a different form the transformation and the sacrifice that needs to be made and the two coins here is just really emphasizing the sacrifice is this person um but yet there is a break here there's a break but not a complete break and the tower is either falling gonna fall will fall and it has to do with the fact that somebody's not given given something up and i don't think it's literal money here we're talking about spirituality so it has to do with emotions or not you know giving um anything to the partner so let me go back on this devil card here gaia deck because he's got all the pearls and the, the gems. And he's also got the cards laying there. And she's just looking down like, what am I going to do? Play your card is what they said. And the card that needs to be played is the truth, really, of our emotions. What is Libra feeling? And they need to give that to that partner that's been taken from them. That just needs to be dumped in itself. Because there's this juggling of... Um, I feel like the Libra is taking it too lightly here. Taking things way too lightly. Too light to the degree that it harms our spirit as we go forward. It's not... Our heart is just kind of three sizes too small, right? And why are we doing this? For that other person to take more? It makes no sense. There's a sense of needing to look at things logically here to kind of tie things up. Because we may be looking from our heart, but our heart ain't in the right direction, right? We're not, uh, yeah, something like that. There's a new energy wants to come forth in a new way, and they're going, it's cracking. <laughs> but there's a, a breaking, like, somebody here is in a pause, either needs to speak up that don't want to, and somebody needs to give more that don't want to. And this is the crux point. We're in, in between. Again, I, I feel for some, most, uh, probably 75% of the tower hasn't fallen yet. Not that there hasn't been towers in the past. There might have been towers in the past here, is the sense I'm given, because they're saying this has gone too long. And now the tower is going to fall again. And we need to take action from that to express, really our discomfort in the whole situation it's not right that's <laughs> what i'm getting all right so that's the reading okay i'm going to give you the planetary card and the tlc card i'll give you the planetary first huh wow sun in libra what do you know number seven talks of harmony enjoying life with music love and romance now this is a nice mushy gushy card not really what i'm getting from the reading um, 
I think this is what wants to happen, and this is what the Libra wants to happen. The sun is full on energy, so 100%. I feel like, you know, the energies are going, maybe we could resolve this and get what we want here, but not without one saying our piece and telling that to that partner, uh, either moving on or resolving the situation. I don't know. The devil energy, hmm. I feel like this devil energy, I'm going back here. Lots of red and blue and green. In the devil energy, the green is there, right? Symbolizing the, the need for heart and the need to heal the heart. Because that's why the devil takes, because his heart isn't healed. And it isn't balanced. So we're going to take from others what, da, 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 what we haven't healed. Now... What they're saying is, you know, enjoy life with music, love, and romance. And of course, the swans, right? The Those are, um, how you say, fierce, loyal companions. Now, either there's a potential to get this on the other side of standing up for yourself here, or we stand up for ourselves here. I do not feel, if we stand up for ourselves here against that op opposing partner, I feel it's a long road to healing. I feel like it's a long road to healing. So for some, we may just choose another track and go in a different direction. We may have harmony. We may have we have we may have harmony with the devil, but there's a long road of healing that needs to happen first. Cuz there's a lot that's been taken without, you know, um it's very imbalanced is the sense that I get. And we don't see where the imbalance is at this point because we haven't healed those parts within us. So we don't see clearly where the imbalance is because, yeah, but they see clearly in us what's missing. That's why they take advantage of that. So there's, I don't know, there's a relationship there that needs a lot of work in order to be workable. And I don't know on the one side whether that's uh, the energy is there to accommodate that work. I don't see it. But uh, if we choose to go in a new direction, stand our ground and leave and go in a new direction, we, we could, um, there could be harmony there as well. And it's full on sun energy. Seven is really about congratulations. Through me, everybody should have their individual language through numbers but through me seven always means good job good job you did something you, you realized something here so i feel like that's what they want to say to you uh is we we've realized it now we have to take action on it we know what we need to do kind of thing we need to go forward so sun and libra harmony some may find harmony here some may find harmony in the future with a new uh scenario okay the tlc card for Libra for March. <laughs> we had the carry on card. Wow. Poignant. Okay. Keep following the course you've set for yourself. Because I think mentally we got it. We know what's going on here. We're just not going outward to let anybody else in on it. And if the divine wants to change your route, you will, of course, be given notice just when you need it, never in advance. Make a plan, take a breath, and remind yourself, isn't it wonderful? Everything is out of my control. <laughs> There's more happening here than I can see. A cosmic plan is playing out right before my mind's eye. Now, it's interesting they mention the mind's eye with that nine of water there because it's very illuminated uh, and very played into universal energy is very much hauling ass in on your third eye they're going right in there <laughs> they're trying to they're gonna get it full of stuff <laughs> my words listen as the exquisite beloved whispers your efforts will be duly rewarded carry on pouring love into your innovations i feel like the um that's yeah, a pretty card actually um, I feel like the advice that the universe has given you is to really carry on. Like, to, um, what's the word? Distract yourself. But distract is kind of 
not the right word. Avert your attention in a, in a better way. You know, this is giving all this attention in this way. Is, it's not, it's harming us. It's not doing us any good. And really it's not doing that other partner any good because they're not learning. If we can't uh, lay down the law, right? They're not learning. The devil needs to know that they're imbalanced and we're not learning from them. They're not learning from us. So the universe is going to go, okay, this is enough of this. Nobody's learning lessons. What are we doing here? Get them out and <laughs> get them where they can learn lessons, right? So they'll put you in a new energy. Okay. Yeah, it's, this is much happening here. Then what I can see, the cosmic plan is playing out before my mind's eye and listen uh, as the exquisite beloved whispers, your efforts will be duly rewarded. Carry on pouring love into your innovations, whatever it is that you can think of other than the direction that you're going. If you're not willing to contribute, then carry on, move forward, right? That's because that's uh, really a channeling. <laughs> if you're not willing to contribute, uh, you will not you will not gain, you know, it's just kind of people being lazy all over the place with spirituality. It's like, if we're not going to learn anything here and we're not going to contribute anything here, there's no point in being here, you know? Uh, and I don't mean here like earth, but I mean in a relationship or in this situation or the person coming at you and you're just going to get a lot of that coming back. So, whew, okay. A little bit of negativity there, but Libra, that is your reading for the month of March 2021. So take care, have fun, be kind.